Ladies and gentlemen, due to illness, we are very sorry to announce that Mary McCarthy is not appearing on the Admiral Broadway Review this week, but we're quite certain that she will recover in time for next week's show and will be with us again next week. <laughs> Bosworth, I feel sure that in this house you're going to find the answer to all your dreams. And it only costs $83 a month. $83 a month? Mm -hmm. Well, no wonder. I hear it's haunted. All mm -hmm. right. Oh, no, no. Rumors. Idle rumors. Besides, you're too intelligent a person to believe in ghosts. I'm not intelligent, and I distinctly heard a ghost. Goodbye. No, that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Did you hear something? No. No, I didn't. <laughs> Are you, you sure you didn't hear anything? No, I didn't hear anything. I just remembered. I have an appointment. Who with? My psychiatrist. Oh, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what you must have heard. It must have been an echo. Oh, really? Yes. I'll show you what I mean. You say something. Anything at all, mm -hmm. and I'll prove to you that there is an echo. Just say anything. Anything, anything at all. Go right ahead. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, you see, yes. it was an echo all the time. Sure. Now, I tell you what I have to do. I've got to run down in the cellar and check up on that furnace. So while I'm gone, why don't you stick around and look the place over? Stay up here alone in a haunted house? You have nothing to worry about. All you have to do is call for me. My name is Charlie. I'll be around here. Don't worry about it. I call for you, probably too late. Hello? Hello. Oh, Charlie! What happened? I said hello and somebody answered hello. You heard the echo. Oh, really? What? Well, you know, for an echo, that had a lot of personality. <laughs> Just calm your fears. I'll still be right around here. Hello? Hello? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? <laughs> Where are you? Lexington 275. Oh, Bosworth, what's gotten into you? Lexington, no! I know there's something else beside us in this house, and it's not human. <laughs> fruit! So what's the matter with fruit? Well, it wasn't there before, was it? No, it must have been left by the last lady who was here. Why didn't she take it home with her? She left in a hurry. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Good now, time. wait a minute, wait a minute. You really don't believe in ghosts now, do you? Don't I? No intelligent person believes in ghosts. Of course not. Why don't they believe in ghosts? Because there are no ghosts. Who ever heard of a ghost? Idiots. Only idiots. Morons. Morons. So, there are no ghosts. There are no ghosts. Now keep that in mind there and don't no worry ghosts. about it. <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> ghosts. <laughs> oh. I'm just a little unstrung today. I look through. You know what's wrong with me? I'm hungry. And when you're hungry, and you don't eat, you get a little more nervous than you would ordinarily. If I had this banana and just relax, I know there aren't any, there aren't any ghosts around here any place. I'm sure there shouldn't be any. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best banana I never ate. <laughs> well, if I have one more banana, that bath is stupid because I never did. Did you have a pleasant time? <laughs> <laughs>